Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is M, and today's video is all about improving flexibility in your hip adductors, your inner thighs. If we don't purposefully and consistently stretch this area, it leaves us much more susceptible to groin and knee injuries, things we want to avoid. So here are several different ways you can stretch your hip adductors. This first stretch is called a Cossack squat. With your chest up and weight firmly in your heel, you want to sit back and do a squat on one side while the opposite leg is nice and straight. For most stretches, I like to move dynamically, meaning I go as far as I can into the stretch, but then move out of it without holding very long. Reaching across for the opposite ankle is a really nice way to deepen the stretch. You can also do the stretch staying low and let your hands travel with you as you move from side to side. This can also give you confidence to go lower and deeper into your stretch, knowing that you have some support. Each time I do this, every rep gets better, more fluid, and I'm more confident to lower all the way down to the floor and get back up with ease. As I went along, I added a little internal hip rotation on the floor. It's a nice way to enhance that stretch. This next one, you're set up in a straddle position on the floor, and this is essentially an adductor rock back. This one is very simple. You start nice and tall with your hands on the floor and move your hips back as far as you can, and then return. As you go along, you should definitely notice a give, and as you feel comfortable to, you can lower your elbows to the floor, elongate your arms, maybe put your head down. This is a single-sided version of the same stretch. I actually really prefer to do one side at a time. This allows me to pay better attention to any differences I might have. This last one was inspired by the yoga position triangle pose. Being low to the ground is a nice way to take the balance element out of it and focus on the depth of your stretch.
I hope you find these helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel.